what if you could come up with a couple of things or a few of the key takeaways or a few of the big things that you've learned in the uh, the first six, seven years of your career and your practice that you think would be helpful to share with not only other general dentists, but other pediatric dentists as well? I think first, let's look at our work. I mean, the first thing is to always be improving because you're going to make mistakes. But if you're making the same mistake over and over again, well, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be dentistry. It can be at home. It can be financially don't do the same mistake over and over again. I mean, I had a problem with some of my class two amalgams. I wasn't making them deep enough and I had to replace some for these patients. And I did it for free because that's, that was the right thing to do at the time. I don't do that anymore. I learned that I need to make my <laughs> box deeper and I'm not going to have as many failures. It's not fun to have to work on a kid twice. Um, but if, if you don't realize that and you keep doing it, you're going to keep losing money and the patients aren't going to be happy. They'll probably come back but they're not going to be happy. And it's not, it's just, that doesn't happen. I hate when stuff fails, but if it fails, figure out why. And there's always going to be failures. If it's something that you see consistently though, that's a problem. If it's every once in a while, that's, that, you know, it, that, that happens. The only permanent thing we do in dentistry is extractions, I'll say. 